What's up guys, it's me Bobby Bosprin FJ here with a new video joined here with no one today because I have a new awesome video for you guys. A Minecrafter's dream and that is to kill the Ender Dragon and I'm going to show you how to do it. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I am going to show you how to kill it but I'm going to show you three ways to kill it. So I'm going to show you the minimum amount of stuff that you may need, which I have right now. And then the, like, the required, like, the recommended, I'd say. And then I'm going to show you the overprepared for, like, a long-term survival world. You definitely don't want to fail. And this is for Java and Bedrock. Let's get into this video. So, firstly, you're going to need some kind of iron sword. This is for the minimum requirements, remember? And like an iron pickaxe, it doesn't have to be iron, it can be stone or something like that. A water bucket, very important. And then a bow, um, with maybe a stack of arrows, which you can easily get from a villager. Some bread or like any other food, it doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure you have food and maybe some blocks. And some kind of like armour. You, you can do it without armour, but I'd recommend having armour. So, what I would recommend starting with at first is to, when you're on this obsidian square, is to just go to the middle. So, you can just pile over like so, with your blocks, which is can be very important. You can do without blocks, but you just have to pray that you don't spawn in the air like I did. So, yeah, once we're here, we can maybe just pile up a bit, using our dirt here. I just try to think of the least useful block. And that's what I could thought of. Anyway, here we are into the main area. And what we're going to want to do first is track down one of these caged ones. And there is one. Oh, and I've got an army of Endermen after me. If this happens, place down your water bucket so they don't hit you and just kill them off. Alright, after dealing with those angry fellows, we can now get to this caged in one. Try to get one of the highest ones because that will make the job easier. And you're just going to want to use your um, water bucket. Make sure the ender dragon is not coming over. Like, if I started then, that would have been quite bad. He would have got rid of my water. Which, trust me, is a pain. And you're just going to want to start piling up here with your water. You can use blocks if you want, but I think this is quicker. And then you're just going to want to keep doing this until you get to the top. Which we should be doing any second now. And there we are. And I'd recommend placing a block here and you've got to be careful the ender dragon herself and break this and just explode that and you should take no damage and you're just going to want to stay here and be very careful of that end acid and oh that was close if something like that happens you're just going to have to pile back up all right and but right back up here the ender dragon's coming in oh that was close anyway we're going to start to want to start Getting these crystals down, which is very important. Some of them are a bit further away, and this and the dragon is really threatening me right now to end this fight. But we're just gonna want to keep shooting these, the ones you can see, and I'll show you a cool tactic. Oh no 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 MLG! Ah, that's a pain. But you, um, I'd recommend putting a bed next to your um end pool so you can get right back. Alright, we're back here, and we're ready to shoot some more of these. Some of them are a bit tall like that one, and they're kind of a tad impossible to get. You can try as much as you want, but you might not be able to get. And some of them are a bit far away, that you can't actually see the crystal, which is very annoying. But I find a really good tactic. You're going to want to put a arrow next to the um, tower, and... Then once you shoot the crystal, it will actually get rid of the arrow. So let's see if I can demonstrate this here. If I can actually hit it, it's very, very far away. And very hard to hit. And yep, I got it there. You saw all the arrows disappeared and that's how you get the far away ones. And I'll be back once I've got the rest of them. Alright, once you're at my stage, all the crystals are down. Apart from that other caged one. You're just going to want to dodge the dragon and get back down here by placing a water bucket right there and then scooping it back up and just going in here. And oh god, that ender man I think is mad. Yes, he's mad. 
He's got his big fat mouth open and, and and now I need to deal with him because he'll kill me otherwise. So yeah, I'll just be right back once I've dealt with this dude. And now we can get this final tower, which we can just um use the war tactic to get back up from before. So I don't think I need to show you this. Um, I'll be back once I've done. All right, once this last tower is dealt with. We can actually get on to killing this dragon, which we can do right here by just going behind her and hitting her like this. And make sure to jump so we do criticals and we'll kill her quicker. So we'll just keep doing this until she's dead. As you can see, we are about to do it and she is dead. And we have done it with only this gear. So now we can just get all the XP and get out of this horrible place. Let's go. Yes, we did it. Let's get on to the next one. Right, what I would recommend for fighting this Ender Dragon is maybe like a sharpness sword, a diamond sword with some, some kind of basic enchantment. A pickaxe, it doesn't have to be diamond, I just wanted it so it would match with everything else. Maybe like a bow with some kind of basic enchantment. It can just be a normal bow though, it doesn't really matter. And a water bucket, which is extremely important, to remember. And some armor, preferably I wine armor, but if you have any diamonds, be sure to make some diamond armor. And also be sure to bring some blocks, but I didn't bring any because, yeah, this spawn is um actually in the ground this time so yeah well, let's just get out of here so we're just gonna mine up instead of building out and as we saw yep it was pretty close and we're just gonna get round to the middle and track down the caged tower all right there it is and we're just gonna power up here using the same war bucket tactic as before so just like this so righty then, we are up here, we're just going to want to start shooting some of these towers, which is very hard to do, especially when there's a dragon warring around, which is a pain, and can I just at least shoot one on camera, there we are. And yeah, do the tactics before by shooting some arrows next to the tower, and then try shooting it, so you know where, um, once it's gone, let's, I'm just going to cut ahead to when it's done. Alright then, all the towers are gone and it's time to get on to the main part of the fight. So we're just going to want to get down here by placing a wall bucket and going in this bit of water here and now it's time to start hitting this dragon. And it was just there and of course it went, ooh look at ender pearl. If you do find any ender pearls they can be useful, maybe probably the start of the fight. Oh yeah, almost forgot, you're going to need to get the other caged one too. So yeah, I guess I can use this ender pole. So like so, which makes it very easy. And this ender might bye bye. <laughs> okay, I'll be back once this is gone. So it is time to actually kill this dragon. So we're just gonna have to wait until she gets to the middle, like she's doing right now, and we're just gonna jump and hit her like before. But obviously we're gonna do more damage and there's Enderman after me of course, but yeah, let's just kill her. And Normally she goes after you've got um, got rid of about a third of health as you saw there, but don't worry, she'll be right back. And yeah, kill only of these annoying endermen because, and look, you might get another ender pearl too. Anyway, I'll be right back in a second. And she is getting low, and I think we have done it. There we are with the recommended requirements. It's pretty easy, and trust me, it's just going to get easier. And there goes the dragon and we have completed the game yet again all right for the third and final way to kill the ender dragon which is the over prepared you will need some kind of sword with any other enchantments but also has to have sharpness on it um you can go without but it will just make it a lot harder and some kind of diamond pickaxe um it can have efficiency on which will make it easier um, a water bucket, definitely. A bow, definitely, with infinity and power on it. Um, some food, of course. Um, preferably like maybe golden carrots. I don't know why I've got beef, but yeah, beef is good enough anyway. Some ender pearls and some totems, just in case something goes bad. And also some armor with protection four. And on your boots, also have protection four. Also have feather falling four, which is very important, just in case you fall somewhere so to start with i'd recommend just like 
ender polling to the island if you're not connected to it. Which I am, but I can't be bothered to dig up because, you know, I'm quite lazy. So let's just pull over. And here we are. Let's just break a few blocks. And now we need to track down the caged one like normal. Which should just be somewhere around here. Where is it? Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. So we're just going to want to pearl up there. Oh, there's also another one over there. This one looks higher, so let's go for that one. And, oops, I just made this enderman mad. But it should be uh, easy to um, hit. You shouldn't have to put water down to um, get rid of the enderman. Because they're quite easy to deal with. Um, so instead of using the water bucket to get up, I'd recommend using an ender pearl. To pull onto the side of this. Oops. And that's my bad. Let's just try that again. And yeah. So just end up out onto the side of the main thing. So you end up like this. And then maybe like place a block here. You probably should have brought some blocks. And like me. But then you're just going to want to break that. And now you're just going to want to get up here. Using your trusty water bucket. And now you can just start. Um, getting some of these towers down. So let's just start with this one here. And yeah, I'll be right back once I've done it. So as you can see, all the towers again are gone. Sorry. <laughs> now we can just hop down here and by using our water bucket or not, but whatever. We have other falling, so it'll be fine. And we're just gonna want to get this last caged one by obviously using the pearl, which makes it a lot easier. And there we are. Let's just break this like so. And it, if you don't have any blocks, you can just place a water bucket here. Because you also take no damage. And, oops, that could have been dangerous. Oh, God. Okay, we're down to half health. But don't remember. Remember, we've got a um totem. So, if we do die anyway, we have a second life. And so, now I guess into the fun part of the fight. We can start killing this dude. Which, she has gone in the right place already. And look how much damage we're doing this. This is going to be really easy. So, we're just going to keep doing this until she's dead. And, as you can she see, she is very low. And she's also very loud, and she is dead. A piece of cake with that mouth kit. We didn't even use the single totem, which is nice. I did actually almost die from this invisible dragon breath, which is here. And apparently he's now appearing. But yeah, here we are. We get all our lovely XP. And we can finish the game. Feeling good. You should probably actually go to the end gateway. Um, to get your elytra. But for the purpose of video, we're just going to go for the portal. Anyway, I think that's going to round off the video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Be sure to smash like on this video. And in the right corner should be subscribe. Just do it. It's one click. And also be sure to watch my last video. It should be on the left. And yeah, that should be it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.